VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are going to do something I've been trying to do for several months. We're going to take a look at Oculus Home in the Oculus Rift CB1. So, why haven't I been able to do this? Well, Oculus and their infinite wisdom decided to make Home a hidden window. And somebody on Reddit, and I missed the post a couple of months ago, made something called the Oculus Home Unhider, which basically unhides their hidden window and gives us the ability to see it on screen. Therefore, I can capture it with OBS. So, let's jump in there and take a look. Now, I'm pretty sure that everybody's already seen this, but, uh, you know, I had a lot of questions after I debuted uh, Lunchtime with my Gear VR. Uh, earlier in the week where the Gear VR home screen has changed to the Oculus home screen because I made a mention that uh, it was a little different. Well, different in just a few things. Uh, it's not animated, it's not 3D in the Gear VR, and it uh, doesn't have the friends list over here. So let's take a look at the different uh, sections of home here. We'll kind of pan around and kind of look. I got my bar and my dining room back there. Just a really cool environment. Everything is 3D in here. You got your blocky fire going on over there. You got little leaves falling from the trees in the background so just nice little ambient effects uh, you got the sound of the fire going so just just little things that really help to pull you in you got the water rippling over here uh, I desperately wish that they would straighten out this rug that's just my tendencies Ugh, it's like driving me crazy it's like somebody go straighten that rug but uh, anyway, just uh, to give a rundown, so here you've got all your recently played stuff. Uh, you've got your featured here. Um, you've also got your store built right in. So if we want, we can just go straight to the store here and check out what's new. Everything is... Um, you know very well laid out so let's say we wanted to say what new concepts are available um so we just hit explore here and bam there you go so um let's see here we've also got our friends list over here now the friends list as we all know is pretty useless at this point um, you know, it just basically tells you that your friends are online and it'll tell you what game they're in currently. Um, I've found it useful for when finding out when my friends are in alt space or, you know, some social app that I can jump in like V time or alt space or something like that. But other than that, man, Oculus really needs to get off their arse and, uh, fix the friends list here, make it a little more functional. Um, let's see here. Let's go back home. Um, also got access to our library here. So right here, obviously you're just going to see everything that you have installed. Now, one thing that I noted on the gear VR video, I really like the fact that they broke apart the installed and not installed apps. Um, if you had a Gear VR, you might remember that back in the day, those apps were literally all just jumbled together in one big list. So you could, it wasn't easy to find things. Uh, this has definitely made it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. So... I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. This is just, you know, the gist of it. A nice home scene. Everything is pretty chill. Um, so, yeah, just thought people might want to see it. Looked on YouTube and there weren't very many videos of this. So, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, y'all. It's VR Gamer Dude, signing off. Peace.